What will win in a drag race between a tuned BMW M8, a tuned AMG GT63 four-door and a tuned Porsche Panamera Turbo? Well, I'm going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this BMW M8 Grand Coupe. It has a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 driving all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox. This car weighs in at two tonnes. As standard, the car has 625 horsepower and 750 newton metres of torque, but this has been tuned by DMS Automotive and now has 800 horsepower. 900 newton meters of torque now to achieve that they flashed the ecu they flashed the gearbox and they flashed the exhaust so this should sound a lot better than standard so how much does this car cost well the list price 140,000 pounds the tune six thousand pounds the guy from dms said he got this car brand new with a huge discount he only paid eighty thousand pounds for it new it's crazy. Anyway, let's find out about that Mercedes from my German friend Daniel from the Car Wire German channel. Or the German Car Wire channel. Or Car Wire German. Hey, anyway. Oh, how are you? I'm very well, Matt. How are you? Where's your German accent gone? Oh, did you ask for Daniel or Sam? I thought I was going to speak to Daniel, but you'll do this time. Let's go straight to Sam. So, Sam, how are you? I'm very well, Matthew. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, my Irish friend, not my German friend. So tell me about your car, Sam. So I'm in a Panamera. It's a tuned four litre twin turbo V8. It's got 740 horsepower, a thousand newton meters of torque. It's all wheel drive, eight speed dual clutch automatic PDK. It weighs just over two tons, starting at 113,000. So your tune was also by DMS Automotive. How much is the tune on your car? It's 1,980 pounds. Hmm, you might be wondering why the heck is the tune on this way more expensive? It's because supposedly the BMW's ECU is impossible to hack. So you have to pay extra to hack it. Because <laughs> it is hackable, just more costly to do so. Anyhow, let's find out about the MG. Hello, finally, Daniel. Yes, Matt, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good, I'm all good. Big German face off here. You're in the AMG, AMG's usually pretty quick. Tell us about your car. So this has the 4 litre V8. It makes 740 horsepower, just over 1,000 newton meters of torque. It weighs 2,045-ish kilos, and it's a little bit more expensive than 150,000 pounds. But what is surprising is the tune um, is actually fairly cheap. I think it's less than 2,000 pounds. This definitely has the most expensive tune. Will it pay off? We'll find out in a moment. So do you know, Daniel, the standard horsepower figures for your car? Yeah, just give me a second in which I will pretend that I definitely know this from the top of my head and I'm not looking it up on my phone at all. Oh, uh, just a second. Oh, I think it's 613. 639 horsepower. I was wrong. <laughs> okay, Sam is probably frantically thumbing away at his phone. What is the standard horsepower of the Panamera Turbo? So this is 550 stock and like I said, this is 740 tuned. 200 horsepower for just over a grand. It's not bad, is it? The only way it'll be bad is if you blow up halfway down this runway. Not for the first time. One of the things about the tune on my car is that they've tuned the exhaust. It's a standard exhaust, but I think it allows the valves to open at all times. So let me just have a little bit of a play with it. Yep, that sounds good. Let's have a listen to the AMG. It sounds good, but it is limited at 4,000. Same as this, I thought they might have lifted the limiter as part of the tune. Maybe that's for the next update, guys. Let's have a listen to the Porsche. Wow, that's a 3,000 RPM soft limiter. Do you know what, let's do them all um, in orchestra together, come on. Now, if you like this kind of stuff and you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload and I've got an amazing video coming out very, very soon that you don't want to miss. Oh yeah, so subscribe now, subscribe. Anyway, if you want to compare the stats of these cars side by side, just pause your video because I've got a little screen for you with all the stats. You can just peruse at your leisure. Quick question, which car do you think looks the best, Daniel? In this color, I think the BMW. Samuel? Yeah, BMW. Me, I'm going to go with the Mercedes. I love the look of that car. 
tell you what, it's really hard to launch control this M8 coupe because it's got the carbon fibre seats that you get in the M4. It makes it more roomy in the back, but it's it's hard to like put your foot on the brake because your left leg has to go over the bit in the middle and it's a bit annoying. Anyway, see if I can launch it. Excuses, excuses. Three, two, Whoa, this went sideways. What's going on? I, that was weird. Um, okay, Daniel, you're probably quite pleased with that, but there was a problem with this car when I launched. It launched all right, sort of, and it changed gears itself for the first few gears, and then for third it didn't, and so it just hit the limiter, and that's when you came past, Sam. It wasn't because of anything spectacular that you did. Obviously not. You obviously enjoyed that launch. Sorry, I didn't hear the first, but I think you were talking to me, right? I don't know who I was talking to. I was talking to whoever would listen, really, just like always. I think we should just run that again. This is the longest delay off brake I've ever had in the PDK car, so I think I'll be able to sort it this time, but that was a big delay. Okay, let's go again. Three, two, one. Whoa, this is all over the place, just absolutely brutal. Komme, glaube ich, nicht an den BMW heran. Oh, this is quick. Okay, so I clearly won that, and I'm surprised that I did because this car was like bucking and spinning its wheels and just a little bit chaotic off the line. I thought you'd have beat me, Daniel. Honestly, I, I was just checking my hand if I'm overly excited, but it's fairly steady because this one, this one was also moving all over the place and making noises and fighting traction. And Samuel? Typical Porsche, good launch. Everything was nice and smooth, but I think it's just been a bit outgunned here. That's weird. Let, let's go again though, because I think I can get a better launch and maybe Daniel can as well. So see if we can get these cars going a little bit quicker. Right, I've just changed my settings, put the suspension in comfort so it squats down more and put the four wheel drive system more rear drive biased. See if we can get a better launch. That's short shifted. Oh, we've been fun! We've been fun, him, BMW! No. Oh, come on! What did you win? You're lucky you won. This car short shifted for some reason. Otherwise, ah, oh, technically you've won overall. Best two out of three, Daniel. Oh man, I felt so proud of myself. I was thinking this was all me, all skill, all launch, but no. No. Could we do best three out of five? I mean, it makes no difference for me. I just don't have the power you boys do. Yeah, so let's do best, like whoever wins three. Right, let's go again. Don't short shift. Didn't short shift. <laughs> it's better. Now I would possibly suggest that you jump the start, but I'm not sure. Stewards, did I jump the start? It was very close, but you didn't jump. That is two each, Daniel, two each. Oh, by the way, should we just look around and go, hi, Sam. Hi, are you all right? Yeah, this launches beautifully, perfectly every single time, but it just doesn't have the legs on you guys. This is it, this is the decider. Uh, to be fair, you were an absolute sport, let me have another shot and do best three out of five. So come on, this is the decider, this is it now. Three, two, one. Polizia 
Ron. Ich bin kurz vor dem BMW. Oh. Hi Daniel, you had an amazing launch. I'm gonna do what you did to me though, although this is just a long shot. Stewart, can you just see if Daniel jumped the star? I don't think he did, but it's worth a shot, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? You won that by being a good sport as well because you gave me another chance. So that was super exciting. And I got a good launch. Your reaction was just a bit better. And you won. It's amazing how close they are together though. I mean, different cars, kind of different manufacturers, different systems. But this was neck and neck. Honestly, if we do this another five times, it can go either way. But we have to stop somewhere. And I think Sam's getting a little bit bored as well, aren't you, Sam? I had the best launch of all those runs there and you still just pulled away, so yeah. Oh well. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the slow motion action replay reveals that the Mercedes won just. However, both cars crossed the line in 10.9 seconds. Meanwhile, the Porsche took 11 seconds to do the standing quarter mile. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free! I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily and for a fair price. On with the video. Now you have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, the cars are in their sports mode, the quickest mode for their auto gearboxes, I'm going to call it in from 50. Three, two, one, go! This just responded so quick. Daniel, Daniel, different story now, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing how quickly your kickdown seemed to work. This was delayed. This felt like maybe two seconds even. This one was right on it, just boom. I thought that the Porsche might do a bit better then because if it's PDK, it would kick down really well. It actually did kick down quite well. I got the jump on Daniel and then Daniel edged back up next to me, but you just vanished. Are you trying to tell me you just got edged by Daniel? <laughs> no, I, I won, but he... Um, I think had we gone another 100, 200 metres, he might have pit past me. So you're telling me you edged Daniel? Or did he edge you, or do you, were you just edging each other? There was a lot of edging, but I think I just edged Daniel. <laughs> just right now? Did he just quickly hop back into your car after edging him? <laughs> That's libelous. <laughs> I've like got the mind of a 14-year-old. Anyway, let's do it again. Let's take the gearbox out of the equation and all this edging. Right, and um, we'll just do it in manual mode. Yep, let's go. If you don't know what I'm on about by edging, just, uh, yeah, Google it. Right, rolling race, third gear, manual mode. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Wow, that Porsche's gone. Oh my God. Oh 
Race in the half mile, can I beat it? <laughs> yeah, here we go. This BMW is absolutely stomping now. What happened with you, Daniel? It's weird. Yeah, so my shifting was decent. I didn't miss anything, but the shifts themselves felt slower in manual mode than they did in automatic. Sam, you were right up there. I mean, the first time the entire day. Yeah, this held third really nice. The PDK shift is also seamless, isn't it? But um, yeah, you're just so fast. Would you like um, me to give you a few moments so you and Daniel can do a bit more edging? No, nah, he's behind me now. I bet he is. I'm just pretending that I don't speak English very well and don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's move on, let's move on. Brake test. No downshifting, Sam. No downshifting, Daniel. No downshifting, Sam. Yeah, yeah, but the PDK downshifts quite aggressively on braking, just so you know. Yeah, but don't you touch any paddles. The car can do whatever it does, but Sam, no. Understood. Now we have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. If you'd rather watch the drag race with some high performance saloons, click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below. If not, stay here for the brake test. Let's do it. I've just been beaten. I came third. You came second, Daniel, and the Porsche won! Porsche won something! But Porsches and braking, oh, they're so good, aren't they, Sam? Yeah, I know. It doesn't even feel like a win because I'm in a Porsche because I just had to sit here and let the Porsche do it, so... But yeah, I'll take a win. And Daniel, second. Pleased with that? Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Though, unsurprisingly, I lost. I seem to lose a lot of brake tests. I don't know what it is. Maybe I've got a very weak right leg and I can't push the pedal hard enough. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on the video windows for some more videos and on the CarWow logo to get a CarWow to compare these cars standing quarter mile times against everything else we've ever drag raced. Thanks for watching. <laughs>